Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? We got the last box of case number one for Spark of the Rebellion, the new Star Wars Unlimited uh, debut set, the Alpha set. If you ever wished you could go back in time and get at the very beginning of a card game and get those early boxes, there you go. This is Alpha! Um, <laughs> so we're going to bust it open, see what we get. Um... So far, we've only got one hyperspace legendary foil in the whole case, which probably sounds about right. I have a feeling that's about what we can expect. I doubt we're going to get another one of those, but we'll see. Here's hoping that we do pull one out of here. That'd be nice. The set has been awesome. I haven't noticed any card quality issues with anything I've opened from Star Wars yet, so... I think they did a good job with it. I think it's a good game. I think it's got some really big potential to go big and be something that's going to be around for a long time. We'll just see how they handle it. So, all yeah, right, right out of the gate, we got Chewbacca and Kestro City. Then we got our commons. We do have a hyperspace common here. And our uncommons, we got a Oh, a legendary Vigilance Hyperspace right out of the gate. Look at that. Nice. Two legendaries. What? Is that a legendary? Cunning? Yep, that's a legendary. Okay. And a foil. Right. Wow. That was a great pack. So we got two legendaries. One of them's Hyperspace and a foil rare all in the same pack. That was a really good pack. All right. <laughs> and... I know the Cunning is one of the one of the double pip. Oh, these are both the double pip cards. Oh, there you go. The double aspects. All right. So that was that was a heck of a way to start the box. All right. Well, <laughs> this one's looking pretty good so far. Hopefully, we get an aggression. And here's a hyperspace uh, common leader and Cloud City or Capital City. <laughs> Looks like Cloud City, doesn't it? All right. Well, I did not expect that start. That was kind of shocking. Fetch fire spray and a common fall. Let's hope it's not all downhill from here. <laughs> Hopefully we got some more good stuff in this box too. Jenna or so. And Administrator's Tower. Super laser technician. This little common is already valued quite highly on TCG. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a really powerful little card. So we'll see what happens with it. But Anytime you can add resources and get some damage on top of it, that's pretty good. Emperor's Royal Guard for a rare and uncommon foil. All right. We got Grand Moff Tarkin. He looks like a fun leader. I might build the deck around him. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to build some of the red decks first, though. They look like more fun. Command Center. Speaking of red. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aggression. All right, ISB agent in the uh, the hyperspace. And our uncommons. At least we've got something fun in the back. Traitors for our rare. And a hyperspace fall making an opening. Just a common, but it's a hyperspace fall. So they don't seem to be falling out of these packs too often. It's almost like they think foils should actually be worth something, unlike magic. IG-88, dig up a swamp. All right. Filter through our commons here and our uncommons. Relentless for the rare. Uh, that one's pretty popular rare so far by the looks of it. And a common foil. We'll have to see. The prices are all going to change. We know. We know that these prices don't stay. <laughs> Director Krennic and Chopper Base. Uh, Pre-release prices are always really, really inflated, but we just don't know what's going to happen with this one yet. Striping Gunship and a Common Fall. We don't know which cards are going to end up really performing that well yet because we haven't had any competitive play yet. <laughs> sure, and we... And Catacombs of Caldera. Um, the Hyperspace. Uh, I've heard this guy's got some potential, but I, I, I don't see it. I don't see why that one would be that saw after. I get it. Get two attacks. I get it. Uh, Partisan Insurgent. Uh, hyperspace. And Uncommon Hyperspace Power Failure. And 
for a cause I believe in for the rare that Colin Paul. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. I, I get it. I see why people are specking on it, but I think it, the casting costs just too much. Uh, Leo Organa and another Catacombs of Kadera. Let's get through right here. Get through the bulky bulk. And hey, another Legendary Avenger. There you go. And uh, Uncommon Paul. Blizzard us all that at. All right, we're up to three legendaries. Not bad. Not too shabby. Chirrut with the uh, hyperspace. Echo base. And snow speeder hyperspace. And a red three for the rare. And a crafty smuggler foil. What else are we going to get? Another Chewy, another Kestro City. Yeah, I see another Hyperspace in the Uncommons here. Oh, it's a rare. Frontline Shuttle, rare. And also Del Mico, rare. And an Uncommon Fall. All right. Not bad. Hyperspace rare, regular, regular rare. I guess I'll put the Hyperspace up here like I have been with all the others. We'll do that. We'll do it like that. Sabine, she's supposed to be the most aggressive leader. We'll see what happens. Capital City again. And common uh, hyperspace. And a frontline shuttle. And Admiral Akbar, full rare. That's a trap. Right. <laughs> so far, this box doesn't seem like a trap. Well, we haven't got very many hyperspace falls yet. We only have one in his common. So hopefully that picks up. Boba Fett. Administrator's Tower. And a bombing run. And a full common. Alright, halfway through the box. Let's see what the other half is. That's good or better. Hopefully better. Harris and Dula. There we go. She's one of the rare leaders. Uh, first Hera I pulled so far. And an Echo Base with a hyperspace. A hyperspace base. <laughs> All right, don't get cocky. All right, and Carillion Freighter. Well, I love those colorless cards. It can be used in any deck. And another Sabine Red and a Capital City with the hyperspace treatment there. All right, and come on. Han Solo for our rare and a snapshot reflexes for the foil. Just common. Jin Urso and Echo Base again. I see a Hyperspace Common. Snapshot Reflexes again. This time not full. And a Greedo, a Hyperspace. And I had no choice. And Smuggling Compartment. This is one I think is really, really good. Uh, Mana Ramp. Gotta love Ramp. Uh, yeah. That's, I think, the best upgrade in the set. IG-88 with the hyperspace. I think that might be the first IG-88 I've gotten with hyperspace. Capital City. Once again. Um, where are we going? Oh, there we are. Yeah, Wedge Antilles for the rare. And a full Wampa. He's a common, but he's fun. Good old Wampa. All right. Boba Fett. Castro City. Once again. And, oh, we got something good in the back. We got something really good in the back. Oh, and a legendary. Oh, and a rare uh, hyperspace fall, Bodhi Rook. So we got a legendary Mace Windu and a hyperspace fall rare. So, again, really good pack. Uh, this one seems to be, <laughs> got some packs with not much in them, and then we got some really good packs. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin and Administrator's Tower. Another Wampa. Hyperspace Snow Trooper, Ezra Bridger, Galactic Ambition for the rare, and a rare General Krell Foil. So, another rare foil. Go pretty good on the rare foils in this box. IG-88, Echo Beast. No, no, no. Knocking over the piles. I knew that was going to happen. Let's move these over here. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
I don't have a whole lot of room here still. Agent Callus for our rare and Metal Ceremony. The only free spell in the whole thing. The whole set. Yeah, it's not a bad one. I don't know, a lot of rebels. That's a, that's a good spell. Oh, I see something else fancy. Add in Verzio, the, uh, the rare leader there. And then Chopper Base. And we got another Hyperspace Wall. Can't wait to see it. Jedi Lightsaber. And just a common Academy Trainee. But still, Hyperspace Walls are not very common in these packs. I've been averaging three to five a box. All right, we got Krennic. We got Administrator's Tower in the Hyperspace. All right, and Emperor Palpatine, and an uncommon heavy, or hard point heavy blaster in the foil. All right, three more packs. Another Leia, Dagobah Swamp, oh. Vanquish, Vanquish, really good card, in my humble opinion. And there we go, Emperor's Legion, Scout Troop, or Scout Bike Pursuer in the foil. So let me know what you guys think of the set so far. Chewbacca in the hyperspace command center. I think they did a really good job. I think it looks pretty balanced and pretty powerful, but not overpowered. Chewy. An at at suppressor in the hyperspace. Security complex for the rare, for the rare base. And Star Destroyer, Gladiator Star Destroyer in the foil. All right, one more pack. What's it going to be? Sabine. And Catacombs of Kadera. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got a Battlefield Marine Hyperspace. Bell Organa. And Mon Mothma for the foil. Alright, so we did get only three Hyperspace foils in the whole box. But one of them was Buddy Rook, a rare. So that's good. So we'll take that. And then we got four legendaries. Mace Window, the Avenger. The vigilance and the hyperspace and the cunning, so two of the two of the double pips there. All right, so not bad, uh, decent box. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description. Click some of those links. Saves you money. Helps out the channel. It's a win-win for everybody. So thank you guys so much for your time. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.